The uniqueness of the service he made tshuva lies, as is well known, in the Gemara and the Loshon Rambam that says that the service he made tshuva is a zman when the Rabbeinu Shalom is mekabel our tshuva. As the Loshon Rambam is afar pisha hat tshuva v'hat tzaoka yofa hi la'olam v'aseres ha'yomim sh'bein Rosh Hashanah v'yom ha'kepurim hi yofa b'yoyser u'miyad hi miskabeles. The Rabbeinu Shalom, it's a zman when the Rabbeinu Shalom is mekabel our tshuva and it's mesugel for tshuva. But perhaps there's another nukuda in the Avodis HaTshuva that pertains particularly to the Aseris Yimei Tshuva. There's a famous lotion in the beginning of Shari Tshuva. Rabbi Niyoyne says, V'hizbo'er ba'toyra. It's mefurish in the toyra, ki yazor Hashem lashovim, kasher ein yad tiv'om maseges. V'yichadesh b'kirbom ruach tahoyra lahasig malas ahavosoy. Rabbi Niyoyin is telling us that when a person does tshuva, the Rabbi Nishaloylam gives a person a, speci- a specific siyato deshmayo, yazer Hashem lashovim. Even kasher ein yad tiva maseges, if their own natural koiches are not able even to reach that maila, the Rabbi Nishalim gives them koichos that are, ma- that are ha- above their yad tivam. And the Rabbi Nishalim brings a posik to show his point. Shanema v'shavto ad Hashem alokecho v'shamato b'koiloi k'choil asher onoichim mitzavcho hayoi mato uvanecho b'chol levovcho uvechol nafshecho. That's a posik in Parshas Nitzavim that talks about the mitzvah of doing tshuva. And the Pasa continues, the Oima Zokt Rabbein Yoyne, the Oima Begufho Inyon, Umol Hashem Olekecho Es Levavcha Ves Levav Zarecho, Lahasig Ahavosoi. In other words, Rabbein Yoyne sees in the Pasa, Umol Hashem Olekecho Es Levavcha Ves Levav Zarecho, that the Rabbein Shaloylam will actually help the person who is who's doing tshuva. There's a mitzvah, Veshavto Ad Hashem Olekecho, but the Rabbein Shaloylam himself will be mal, the levavcha best levav zarecha. The words of Rabbi Yoyna, as is well known, are really the sheet of the Ramban, the way he explains that posik, umol Hashem lekecha es levavcha best levav zarecha, zok the Ramban, zehu she'omar, she'omru chazal, habo letaher misayen oisoy. Mavtichacha shetoshu veilecha b'chol levavcha v'hu yazor oischa. The Rabban brings a mefurish gemara that if somebody is bo letaher, he gets a special siyata men ha-shamayim. My father Zechreina Nevrocha would point out that both the Rabbi Niyoyne and even the Ramban are a big chiddish because the Ramban himself and all the Rishonim understand that the Pasuk of Umol Hashem Olekecha Es Levavcha Ve'es Levav Zarecha is referring to that tshuva of La'osid Lovoi. When all of Klal Yisrael will do tshuva, and the, when Mashiach will come, and when we'll be zoichet to the Gula Shleima, Avada Klal Yisrael will come to the Madregis HaTshuva. That tshuva, of course, is something that the Rabbeinu Shaloylam will do and accomplish. But both the Ramban and the Rabbi Niyoyne seem to understand that the Pasuk is also referring to the, to the personal tshuva, the tshuva that Klal Yisrael does even before the Gula Shleima. Habo letaher mesayin oisoy. Rabbi Niyoyne clearly says it's referring to the avoidus tshuva that's incumbent on every person. Yaze Hashem lashovim kasher ein yad tiva maseges. My father Zechon Levracha would take out of this Ramban and Rabbi Niyoyna, that the Koyach HaTshuva that we do even now, before Mashiach, before the Gutle Shleimo, is taken, the Koyach comes from that Shuva that Klal Yisrael will eventually do, La'osad Lovoy. 
that sh- that tshuva of la'asid lavoi, which will be a tshuva that avada the rabbeinu shalolim will accomplish in its in its fullness. Uh, but we ta- we take a koyach from that tshuva, and that's why the rishonim feel that that koyach of umal hashem lekechas levav chavas levav zarecha is something that even happens bizman hazeh. Do we have that? When do we have that siyat of the Shmaya? Is that siyat of the Shmaya, according to Rabbi Niyoyna, it is a siyat of the Shmaya that pertains to every tshuva that any person does, any time, any day. But perhaps that siyat of the Shmaya is specific and bedafke and is given more so in the Aseris Yimei Tshuva. I found an interesting lotion from the, from the Me'iri. The Me'iri wrote a sefer, Ki Yodua, the Chibu HaTshuva La Me'iri. And the Me'iri discusses the minig of Klal Yisrael to say Slichas before Elul, in, in, in the Chodesh Elul. The lotion of the Me'iri is Azoi. Roi lahaktem laharbo is tefila v'tachnunem u laoirer halavavis l'tshuva v'koidem Rosh Hashanah. Al tzad oimram, similar to what Chazal tell us, that before Pesach, before every yontif, dosh and hilches a Pesach, koidim le Pesach shloishim yoim. Vechein bekulam roi lahaktim, velidrosh beinyan hayoim, zman echot koidim le yoim. Kedei lehis oirer al inyone hayoim. Based on this idea of dosh and hilches a Pesach, before Pesach, zokte meiri, we also talk. In our Oisik, in the Inyan of Rosh Hashanah, in Yom Kippur, the Inyan of Tshuva and Chodesh Elul. In the Me'iri continues, V'alzeh ha-tzad hispashet ha-minig b'har b'mikoi mois l'hakdim u'l'har b'is b'tfila m'rosh Chodesh Elul u'l'ho'i ha-shacha b'sli choist to get up in the morning. K'day she'yiu machshiv o'iseyem zakois u'nekiyois b'hagiya ha-yoyim. To prepare oneself for the Yomim Neroim, for the Aseris Yimei Tshuva. But then the Me'iri continues with a very profound lotion. Yotza Elul b'tahara v'nichnas tishrei b'kedusha. Interesting lotion. The Avoid Asa Elul, Elul, the year, the Chodesh, leaves b'tahara v'nichnas tishrei b'kedusha. The Me'iri is giving us two, two different lashonis to the Avoid of Elul, to the Avoid of Tishrei. Possibly, the Kavona is, as we know, the Mesil Yisharim. The Mesil Yisharim explains the, the difference between those two Midas. Famous Mesil Yisharim in Perik Yutes, I'm sorry, in Perik Chavav, that the Mesil Yisharim explains that the Midah of Tahara is that Midah that a person stays away from Inyonim Gashmiim as much as he can, because Inyonim Gashmiim couldn't could turn a person away from the Rabbeinu Shalolim and from what a person has to do. The Midah of Kedusha is a bigger Madrega that he's even Mekadesh, those in Yonim Gashmiim, and does it L'Shem Shamayim. But the Me'iri tells us, the, I'm sorry, the Mesilis Yisharim is most of another Nukuda when it comes to the Midah of Kedusha. Some well-known words. Inyan HaKedusha Kofulhu Dehainu Tchilosay Avoida V'Soifay Gmul the Midah of Kedusha has something double about it. One starts off with your own Avoida, but the Soifoi, the end of the Midah of Kedusha, is a Matona from the Rabbeinu Shalolim. As he says, Beferish, Trilosoi Hishtadlus, the Soifoi Matona. Trilosoi Masha Odom Mekadish Atzmoi, the Soifoi Masha Mekadshim Oisoi. In the, the Messiah of Sishon bases this Chiddush that the Midah of Kedusha is a special matana milamaila on the, the Gemara that says, Oda mekadish atzmei ma'at, mekadshin oisei harbei. Milamata, mekadshin oisei milamaila. What, what we see from the Mesut HaSisharim, that the Midah of Kedusha, if a person starts it off on your own, Oda mekadish atzmei milamata, mekadshin oisei milamaila. The Midah of Kedusha entails a, a matana, a matona is another way, a way of saying a siyat at the Shmaya, something that one really doesn't deserve. The Rabbani Shalolim gives you a matona, the midah of Kedusha. 
If we saw in, in the Me'iri that the Chodesh of Tishrei is Me'yuched, Nichnas Tishrei B'Kedusha, possibly we can see that that Midah of Siyat HaDashmaya that Rabbi Yoyne and the Ramban both say is really, is really by every Baal Tshuva. In Chodesh Tishrei, possibly we want with Zoyche in a special Midah it's a special zman that's mesugal for that siyata deshmaya of Yazar Hashem Lashovim Kasha Ein Yad Tiva Maseges. Because the midah of Tishrei is Nichnas Tishrei Bekdusha. It's Mekadshen Oisoy Melamaila. Everybody did there some avoid in Chodesh Elul. If one wants to be Mekabal the Chodesh Tishrei, then one is Zoyche to a Mekadshen Oisoy Melamaila. In the, and that's what the Rabbein Yoyin and the, the Ramban said, Ki Yazar Hashem Lashovim Kasher Ein Yativ Om Maseges. But Rabbi Yisai, what exactly is that Siyata Deshmaya that one person is Zoyche to? What exactly is that particular Matona that Mekad Shenoise Milamayla? That Posik that the Rishonim bring, as as we said before, the Pshuta Shon Mikra of the Posik refers to the Tshuva of Achis Ayomim. When Klau Yisrael will do Tshuva, when the Rabbeinu Shalom will help us do a Tshuva Shleima and will be Zoyche to the Gula Shleima. The Posik Pshuta needs a Pshat. Who is the Posik talking to? The Pasek is talking to everybody that will be Zoyche to the Geula Shleima. If so, what is the Kavon of the Pasek? Everybody is included on their own L'choyre in the Haftocha of Achris Hayomim. And the Pasek makes an emphasis there's a Levavcha V'es Levav Zarecha. The, the Pesach is talking to all the Doiris, Gans Klau Yisrael, that will be Zoyche to the Tkuf of Achris Hayomim. Why does the Pesach, what is the Kavona, Umol Hashem Elokech, Es Levovcha, Ves Levav Zarecha, Kielu, we're talking about one particular Doir in the Hemshech HaDoiris. The Pesach is referring to all of Klau Yisrael that will be Zoyche to that Gula. I once heard from my Rosh Hashiva, Zechon Levrocha, Agon Ramosh Shapiro, from Yerushalayim, that explained the Pasek to mean that the Pasek is referring to where the Kilkul of Golos began. In the Kriyas HaToyra of Tishabov, we read the Pasek, Kisoilit Bonim Uvnei Vonim Vinoshantem. The Golos. The Pasuk continues over there, Klau Yisrael will worship Avoy Dezorah, and that will be the cause that Klau Yisrael will go into Golos, and that's why we read that Kriya Satoira on Tishabov. But the Pasuk describes the Golos as happening because there will be a situation of Kisoilit Bonim Uvnei Vonim Venoishantem. Klau Yisrael will continue in time so he led one door after the other door, and as the Pasek clearly says, ben noi shantem, Klau Yisrael will reach something called his yashnos. They will forget of what, where they come from. They will forget Maimed Hasinai. They will forget the Ovis Akdoshim. They will stay in time, and even if they'll be moi led bonim of neivonim, but the Ovar will be an Ovar. And that's the Sibba for the Golis. When a person, when Klal Yisrael, Chalila, detaches himself, themselves from the Ovar of Matan Torah and Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, that will be the cause of Chalila of Golis. And that seems to be a natural cause. Zok de Pasuk, as opposed to the Golis that was caused by Kisoy Litbonim, Uvnei Vonim, Venoi Shantem, Laosid Lovoi, what will be, what the Rabbani Shalom will be, will give us is a situation where we'll be, we'll, we'll be constantly in a matzav of his chadshus. There won't be shy of the Indian of soilid bonim of nevonim, and that should be a cause of 
we're going to forget about where we come from and what happened. It will be umol Hashem alekecha es levavcha ve'es levav zarecha. In other words, the pasuk isn't necessarily referring to other doyros. The pasuk is talking to all the doyros, but the pasuk is referring to that metzias of derech hateva that can possibly cause for what the pasuk in Veschanan refers to as soilit bonem uvnei bonem v'noishantem. And the Rabbeinu Shalom tells us, no laosid lavoi. The Rabbeinu Shalom will be mal. He'll make a mila and the olas halev. And the Mila will be Ikka be that Klal Yisrael will always stand in a matzav of remembering, of being of his chachus, remembering Matan Torah, remembering where they came from, and that will be the matzav of Klal Yisrael Laosid Lovoi. And that's the kavon of the Posik, Umol Hashem Alekecha Es Lavavcha Ves Lavav Zarecha, that will be Kaseda in a matzav of his chachus. Rabbi Isai, I think this, this pertains particularly to the Avoides HaTshuva. There's a famous Loshan from Rabbeinu Yoyne. Rabbeinu Yoyne wrote the Shari Tshuva, but in the end of all the prints of the Shari Tshuva, there's a few pages called the Yesoid HaTshuva. That's the, I think, the real Loshan. Yesoid, the fundamental Indian of Tshuva. In some Machzoirim, in some prints, I once saw it's called the Soid HaTshuva, the secret of the Tshuva. I think it's both right. It's the Yisoid HaTshuva and, and it's the Soid HaTshuva. But what Rabbi Yoyne says there is Advar Chiddush, L'Choyre. Rabbi Yoyne says a Chiddush, that if somebody starts to do Tshuva, Odom asher posha v'choto, ubo lachso is tachas kanfei ha-shchinu l'hikonez bedarkei ha-tshuva, if a person sinned and he wants to do tshuva, Zokt Rabbeinu Yoyne, askilcha, I will enlighten you, v'orcha b'derech zu teilech. Zokt Rabbeinu Yoyne, an interesting chiddish l'choyre. V'ayoyim ha'hu, the day that a person wants to come do tshuva, yashlich kol pshoa v'asher osa. A person should kaveyochel, throw away all the pshoim and all the avoyness that he did. And the Rabbeinu Yoyne clearly says, V'yasa atzmoi ke'ilu boi b'ayoyim noilad, a person should consider himself as if he was born that day. A person should view himself, Ke'ilu, he's, a, he's a, a born child. That's a play on the words that we say on Rosh Hashanah. Rabbi Yoyne uses those words how a person should view himself when he comes to do tshuva. V'zeh hayoyim t'chil asmasov, hayoyim yifales orchoisov, shelo yit um agaloisov midarech hatoif. And Rabbi Yoyne continues to explain, because if a person has his, has his over of what he did behind him, that's going to prevent him from doing tshuva. One person shouldn't think so. A person should consider himself boy by yoim noilad. Rabbi Yisai, what is Rabbi Yoyne telling us over here? Is he telling us simply a psychological etzer? A person should ke'ilu think that he never did anything. Rabbi Yoyne himself says that after a person puts himself on the correct way, then afterwards he has to go back and be misaken and go through the avoidance of tshuva, everything, even on the other. But even this initial eitzah that L'Choyi Rabbeinu Yoyna is telling us, is it simple an eitzah, psychological, derech hatevah deke eitzah? Rabbi Yisai, it's possible, Rabbeinu Yoyna means something more. Rabbeinu Yoyna possibly is telling us, especially, the fact that the Rabbeinu Yoyne uses those words, V'zeh hayoyim t'chilas ma'asov, the Rabbeinu Yoyne is telling us a yesoid. That the avoidus ha is really that. Why? Because just as we know, as all the Svarim say, that by the, the Rabbeinu Shalom's Bria, even though the Bria looks as if it was always there, 
the derech hatev of the bria looks as if the rabbi nishalolim, even if one has a muna, that the rabbi nishalolim created the world, but the metzias of the bria looks as if the bria is there because it was there yesterday. But as we know in the Svarim, in the Shachayim, in the Tanya, they all say, based on the words that we say by davening, HaMechadesh B'Tuvoy B'Chol Yom Tomid Maase B'Reishis. That in Emes, the Rabbi Nishloidim is Mechadesh D'Briya B'Chol Yom Tomid. Constantly, every second, there is a Hishachis of the Briya. The Briya does not exist because it existed a moment ago. Every moment, there is a new rotsen of the Rabbi Nishaloylam to be mechadish de Bria. That's the way the Svarim understand that lotion of the Posik, of the, of the Tefillah. The same thing a person has to believe. That the emes, his ova, as much as what it was, is not mechai of his osid. And Rabbi Yoyne is saying a truth. That Avada, a person has to really believe ki ilu boy be yoim noilad. That even though bedera chateva, bedera chateva, the mitzvah is a person becomes nisragel to do whatever he did yesterday. But in truth, that's not mechayevim. In truth, just like in the in the rabbanu shloidim zbriya, there's an inyan of amachadish betuva bechol yoim tamid masse bereishis. So too in the avodas hatshuva, the real eitz. The real mahalach, how to really do a successful tshuva, as Rabbi Yoinut is telling us, is to start off with that kavon of amechadish betuvoi bechol yoim tomid maise bereishis, ze hayoim tchilas maasav. That's really, oi bazoi, das licked in the way of Rabbi Yoinut. Rabbi Yoinut's told us his ba'er batoira ki yaze Hashem lashovim kasher ein yad tiv om maseges and the Rabbeinu Yoyne brought the posik umol Hashem alekecha es levavcha ves levav zarecha. We just explained that the pshat, the pshute shel mikra of the posik of umol Hashem alekecha es levavcha ves levav zarecha pertaining to laosid lavoi means actually that that as opposed to what happened in Golos, that there was a Metzias called Kisoilet Bonem Uvnei Bonem Venoi Shantem. Klal Yisrael was Nisyashen. They lived in history as if history goes on and what happened yesterday was yesterday. But today we're further than that. There was a lack of Hishachas. Klal Yisrael did not look at themselves as being constantly looking at what happened. Because that's the Matthias of the Bria, the Derech HaTeva looks that way. We will see that that's not the case. The Rabbi Nishalayim will constantly bring Matan Torah in whatever Gilu Kvot Shemayim there was constantly before our eyes. And that's what will be the Matziv called Matan Torah. Rabbi Niyoyne told us that that madreig of la'osid lovoi of umol Hashem alakechos levavchos levav zarecha is shayich to every tshuva, as we saw. His ba'e batoira ki yazer Hashem lashovim. What is the yazer Hashem lashovim? Zokt Rabbi Niyoyne himself in the Yisoyed HaTshuva that that yazer Hashem lashovim is that siyata de shmaya to do the real tshuva, because to do the real tshuva means to understand ki boi ba yoim noilad, that whatever past the person may have had and what a person may have done, in truth, it's not mechayevim. It's a maise yetzer. It's the baldova that tells him that this is who you are and this is what you are and because you did it yesterday, you're supposed to do it today. I'll leave it to emes, just like in the Rabbi Nishloim Zbriya, as we said, there's a mechadish betuvay bechol yom tomid ma'aseh bereishis. So too, in every person's avodas hatshuva. Rabbi Yisai, what can possibly, possibly we can show a makor in the Torah, in the actual chumash, for that siyata d'shmaya? We read recently in Pashas Kisavoy. In Pashas Kisavoy there's a posik, and actually a little bit of an obscure posik. Not clear. The Pesach says, Moshe Rabbeinu tells Klal Yisroel, 
after the Toichicha. V'loi nosan Hashem lochem leiv lo das ve'inayim lirois v'oznayim l'shmoya ad hayoyim hazer. The Rabbani Shlodim didn't give you a heart to understand ve'inayim lirois v'oznayim l'shmoya ad hayoyim hazer. What is the kavon of the Posik? Rashi himself tells us two pshatim that are pretty much opposite of one another. One the pshat that Rashi brings, Rashi says an interesting pshat, Shomati, Dr. Rashi. It seems Rashi himself was not clear, was not sure what the Pasuk means. Rashi says, Shomati, that that particular day when Moshe Rabbeinu was said, was said that, Kalal Yisrael saw Moshe Rabbeinu writing a Sefer Torah, as, as it says in Parshat Vayelech, and giving it to Shevet Levi. And Klal Yisrael tainid, Lo ma'ato mashlit as b'nei shivtecha oleho, v'yoimru, lo nu nitna, v'yoimru lemocha, lo nu nitna, with Klal, the Torah wasn't given to you, Klal Yisrael was only given to Shevet Levi. We also want the Torah, as Klal Yisrael told Moshe Rabbeinu, Afa onu abmadnu b'sinai. Zok Ashi v'somach Moshe al hadova, in pertaining to that, the Moshe Rabbeinu said previously in the parsha, "Hayoyim hazen hiyeso laom." But Rashi is, seems to be touching the pasuk, "V'lo nasa Hashem lachem leiv ladas v'naim lerois ad hayoyim hazer." But hayoyim hazer, I see that you actually have the leiv ladas v'naim lerois v'naim lishmoya, because by asking for the sefer Torah in saying that you also were Zoycha, I see that you really want the Rabbeinu Shalolim. Hayoim hazeh zok te'ashi aniroya sh'atem dveikim v'chfeitzim b'amokon. That's one pshat that Rashi brings. Another pshat that Rashi brings which is seemingly totally different. V'loi nosan Hashem lechem leiv l'adaz v'naim l'roiz ad hayoim hazeh. Rashi brings a Gemara that Ada boim yoim ein odom oimed al das rabbi. Klal Yisrael is, was is 40 years after Matan Torah, and Moshe Rabbeinu is telling Klal Yisrael as such. Till now, the Rabbeinu Shalom will not have any tainus, because you may, need, may not be masik what the Rabbeinu Shalom really wanted by Matan Torah. Ada aboim shona ein odom oimed al das rabbi. Mekan vahola, you expected to understand. And Mamela, the Rabbanu Shalom will be makbid. Rashi seemingly teaching the Pasik, totally different. That says that hasoga to understand, you never got, now you have the hasoga to understand, but because of that, the Rabbanu Shalom will be toveya you. Not that you really, Moshe Rabbeinu realized that Klal Yisrael reached a certain madrega. The Masha Mesech Tavoy says an interesting chat on the Pasik. The Gemara says in Avoy Zora that Klal Yisrael was called Kfuye Toiva B'nei Kfuye Toiva. Why is Klal Yisrael called Kfuye Toiva? They're not Makir Toiv? Because when HaKadosh Baruch Hu said after Matan Torah, Mi Yitain, V'hoyo levovom zeh lohem liyira oisi kol hayomim. The Rabbeinu Shalom told, said to Moshe Rabbeinu, Klal Yisroel had Yerushamayim at the time of Matan Torah. For her Raya, they said they didn't want to hear all, all of Aseris Adibros from Moshe Rabbeinu because they realized the godless of the Rabbeinu Shalom and they realized it's not simple to hear from the Rabbeinu Shalom. And the Rabbeinu Shalom said that came from a midah of Yerushamayim, Heitivu Asher Dibeiru. And the Rabbani Shlodim continued, Mi yitain halavai v'hoya levovam z'elohem liyira oisi kol ayomim. Zok te gemore, Klal Yisrael should have said, Ten ato. Klal Yisrael should have answered, Yes, we want that Yerushamayim. Rabbani Shlodim, give it to us. And the fact that they didn't say ten ato is a simon they were k'fuye toiva. Toisvist learns, because they didn't want to be maket toiva, the Rabbani Shlodim. The Masha himself says, the reason they didn't say it was because they didn't realize that the maton of Yerushalayim is a toiva. They thought they have to do it on their own. I'll call upon them. There was a taina. They should have said tan ata. But the mashah says beferish that that is the kavon of the pasuk over here. 
the Pasik in Pashis Kisava that says, Vil Nosa Nashem Lochem, Lev Ladas, Venayim Liro is Vaznayim Lishmoya, because you didn't ask for it. The noob shot in the Pasik, the Masha himself points out. You didn't ask for the Enayim Lerois, Venayim Lishmoya and the Lev Ladas. You could have, but you didn't. The Rabbani Shalom didn't give it to you. But what the Masha doesn't say the favorish Rabbi Isai is that the Pasik says, Ad Hayoim Hazer. Lefida Masha, I believe in the Pasik it says that even though at the time of Matan Torah, even though at the time of Matan Torah, the Rabbinish Klau Yisrael did not ask for that year of Shemayim, but before, before the Klau Yisrael went into, into Eretz Yisrael, at this last day when Moshe Rabbeinu is telling Klau Yisrael, when Lenosan Lachem Ad Hayoim Hazer, Moshe Rabbeinu is telling Klau Yisrael, today the Rabbinish Shloim is giving that to you. Today the Rabbi Nishalayim is giving to you that matona of Leib Ladas. Rabbi said possibly this is the Siyata de Shmaya. If we'll say, if we'll say ten Atta, the Rabbi Nishalayim is telling us maybe at the time we lost that opportunity, but the Rabbi Nishalayim is telling us today, Ad Hayoim Azar, the Torah is Nitzchias. Every day when a person learns that Pasik, the Rabbi Shlom is telling us, you have the ability to ask for that. You have the Yecholas to ask for that Yerushalayim. A person could be the opposite of Kfu Yetoiva and say Ten Atta, and the Rabbi Shlom will give him that Yerushalayim. The Rabbi Shlom will give him a Siyata de Shmaya to be Zoycha to the Avodas Atshuva in what Klal Yisrael could reach. That Siyat HaDashmaya says Beferish in the Pesach comes from, the, from what happened by Matan Torah. Klal Yisrael by Matan Torah had a tremendous Madrega of Yerah Shemayim. He tivu asher dibeiru, the Rabbeinu Shalom told Moshe Rabbeinu. Moshe Rabbeinu actually didn't realize it, Rashi says. He touched them koichi kinekeva. Moshe Rabbeinu in the Pesach is mashma, did not realize what Klal Yisrael means by not, by not hearing from the Rabbi Nishalolim. But the Rabbi Nishalolim said, hey, tivu beiru. It comes from a tremendous madrega of Yerushalayim. And as the Pasuk says, the Rabbi Nishalolim says, halavai, they should be at that madrega all the time. But, but the Sofa Boim Shona, the Rabbi Nishalolim tells us, today I'm giving you back, I'm standing there and giving you back the madrega of Matan Torah that you could have had. Rabbi Yisrael, the Mishnah says in Masech the Rosh Hashan, in Masech the Tainus, Lehoyu yomim toivim li Yisrael ki yom hakipurim ukechamisha osa ba'av. The Mishnah says clearly what is the reason why Yom Kippur is besides being a yom slicha mechila is also a yom tif. A yom tif means as man simcha, the Mishnah describes Shabahan Bano Is Yisrael Yoitso is Vachoilo is Bakromim, they would dance. Yom Kippur at the same time as being a Yom Slicha Mechila was also as man of simcha. And the Mishnah clearly says, the Mishnah brings a Posik, Yom Chasunosoi Zem Matan Torah. The Matan Torah of Yom Hakipurim, when the Rabbi Nishloidim gave the Luchos Shniyos, when the Rabbi Nishloidim gave the Luchos Shniyos, that was a Sibba of simcha. That was a sibba of simcha of Matan Torah. Rabbi Yonah says this, the mitzvah of Achille Be'erev Yom HaKippurim is to be mashlem, the suda that normally a yontif requires. And since we can't fast on Yom Kippur, we eat, since we can't eat on Yom Kippur, we eat on Erev Yom HaKippurim. My father, Zechon Levrach, would add to the Rabbi Yonah that the simcha of Yom HaKippurim, the Simcha and the, the Suda that we eat on Erev Yom HaKippurim is because we celebrate the Matan Torah of Yom HaKippurim. As we see in Sefer Mish, Parshas Mishpatim, that besides the tremendous Madrega of Yira that t- took place Bishas Matan Torah, there was also a Zman of Simcha, according to the Ramban, Vayoichlu, when it says in the Posik, Vayachzu was Elikim, Vayoichlu, Vayishnu, it was because Matan Torah also warranted a Simcha Shel Mitzvah. Yom Kippur, when we Mekabal the Torah, we also Mekabal the Torah based because it's a Simcha Shel Mitzvah, it's both a Yom Slicha Mechila, but with Zoycha to that Madrega, since the Zoycha to that Madrega of Yerushalayim, every time when 
every Yom Kippur that we that we that 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 that, that we have, we relive. We relive the matzah of Matan Torah. The Rabbi Nishalayim brings us back. Mi'itain b'hoyel levavam zelohem liyira. Klal Yisrael is mispalal on Yom Kippur for that siyata d'shmaya, and the Rabbi Nishalayim brings us back to the madrega of Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur was zayichet to both the slicha mechila of Yom Kippurim and the simcha shal mitzvah of Yom Kippurim. I would just, I would like just to finish with the words of Rabbi Nishalayim in Mesechtes. The, the, the words of Rabbi Yoyin in Masech the Baruch says, If do us Hashem b'simcha v'gilu b'ra'odo. What is the Poshib Shat in the Poshib? V'gilu b'ra'odo. U'pashte d'kro kachu. Ba'ya bosa v'dom ha'yira v'hasimcha himdova v'hefchoi. Yira and Simcha are two opposites. She b'shosha oda mefached mizulosoi. When a person has fear from somebody else, who oy made nir sabedoyeg, he stands away, not close. Avol Hakadosh Baruch Hu ainu kain. Other rabbi kisha oda mizboinen vigulosa migdulosoi viyore miponav. When a rabbi, when a person understands the godless of the rabbi nishaloylam, yismach viyogil baoisa yira. If a person has the true Yira Shomayim, a person should cause him to be B'Simcha. That is the Simcha that we, we prava, besides the Slicha Mechila, the Simcha that we prava on Yom Kippur. But Abba Yisrael, the Ike is, the Avisen, that the Rabbi Nishalayim is ready to give us the siyata d'shmaya for whatever we have to do. He's just waiting for us to say ten atah. He's waiting for that tefillah. Utshuva utfila utdaka mavirin es roya agzeira. There's a tefillah that we have to ask for the Rabbi Nishalayim that he should give us that siyata d'shmaya. Unless we're ready to be mekabalit, the Rabbi Nishalayim is not going to give us. We have to ask for it. But to, add, but to be zoiche for that siyata d'shmaya of mol Hashem alakecha es levavcha es levav zarecha, we have to be careful to allow it in us, and there should not be any olas halev. Rabbi Yisai, we're in a zman when we see a lot of rotzen to do the right thing, but there's also a lot of olas halev. There's a lot of dvarim gashmiim that prevent that siyata d'shmaya and that rotzen and that. Ruchnius to dwell within us. My father, the Chayin of Rocha, used to refer to it as, the, as the Gemara calls it, Sosha Beisa Veshibud Malchius. There's a lot of Shibud Malchius. We don't live in a matzav of physical Shibud Malchius, but we live in a matzav of Ruchnius to Shibud Malchius. The Malchius that we live among them cause us a lot of Shibudim. A boy says, as much as we'll give up, we'll get rid and not allow the Shibudim of the Malchius within us will be zoiche and will be mispalel to the, for that siyata d'shmai. We'll tell the Rabbi Nishloilim ten ata. Will the Rabbi Nishloilim give us, then the Rabbi Nishloilim will be mashpias, that gewaldige siyata d'shmai that he tells us he's ready to give us. And we'll be talking be zoiche to the ultimate umol Hashem alakecha es levavcha ves levav zarecha. We will all have nachas from ourselves and our children. And we'll be zoiche to the gula shleim abem heirav yameinu. Amen.